the supreme court's historic judgment annulling the electoral bonds scheme has come more than a week ago the government of india the finance minister and the finance ministry the election commission are all quiet and silent about it the direction of the supreme court is clear by 13th of march all the details of those who have purchased the electoral bonds and to whom they have given these uh, electoral bonds these details must be made public on the election commission website the sbi has been been asked directed by the supreme court to do do this within the time stipulated but now various various actors are coming out saying that this would violate the, the confidentiality in the banking laws this would violate some other provisions of the other laws that govern the corporates but surely the supreme court is aware of all these laws because it has annulled the electoral bond scheme and it is also annulled the amendments brought by the modi government to facilitate these electoral bonds to the companies act and what was that amendment earlier over a period of 3 years what the profits made by a corporate 7.5% only could be donated to political parties what did the amendment do it removed the ceiling of 7.5 it removed the last 3 years of profits uh, to be calculated and it therefore permitted shell companies to come open the companies do money laundering transfer black money into white and buy electoral bonds and give it to the political party of their choice now this has also been amended and all so therefore it is now very clear whether there was any quid pro quo involved in this that we'll know once the data comes out but take one example 2017 18 budget the corporate tax was brought down a huge hefty reduction in corporate tax from 30% to 22% all of a sudden this meant a huge bonanza profits for the corporates now after this in 2018 the electoral bond scheme starts getting operated and what was donated does it have anything to do with this decision are like likewise are they sweetheart deals that were made by the government to corporates for which electoral bonds were the medium of paying back now all these details will come through because what has been done through electoral bonds is that the modi government legalized political corruption those who campaign all over the country shout from rooftops that they will not allow corruption are the ones who ingeniously promoted a cleaner way as they call it cleaner way of making money through political corruption now this has to be stopped immediately so these details must be made publicly as early as possible and this will do a lot of good to strengthen our democracy and transparency and accountability in our country in the interests of indian democracy this has to be done immediately